Cornwall family of eight needs help this holiday season after fire uh, officials say that a lithium battery fire destroyed their home over the weekend. Our Blaze Gomez has this family's stories and some tips from officials to help you avoid a similar tragedy. The Garuli family imagined happy holidays in their new home when they took this photo on the day they bought it in September. But instead, they're now homeless. The Cornwall family of eight had their lives changed in an instant Saturday night after officials say a lithium battery in a power tool set fire to their house on Beaks Road. We talked to the homeowner off camera who said she was inside the house with her six kids when they smelled smoke, opened the garage door and saw flames. Neighbors saw the fire too. Yeah, it was very sad. Um, we were here that night when it happened and uh, they haven't lived there very long and I just feel really bad for them. And I posted about this family and what happened to them um, and people are saying, how can I avoid this from happening to me? But you just got to be careful. You got to make sure you're charging them correctly and using them correctly. Valesgate Fire Chief James Merritt says lithium battery fires are becoming common now that more rechargeable devices are using them and with the popularity of e-bikes and e-scooters. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has reported more than 25,000 fires from lithium batteries nationwide in the last five years. You see a lot more in the news throughout New York City, and it's definitely expanding beyond there. Merit's tips to stay safe include storing batteries at room temperature, never charging them near bedding or furniture, and making sure batteries are not overcharged. Definitely try to use reputable manufacturers and to follow those guidelines. In the meantime, a GoFundMe page for the Garuli family has raised thousands of dollars in an effort to help and give them a Christmas miracle. In Cornwall, Blaze Gomez, News 12. Well, if you'd like to help the Garuli family, we do have their GoFundMe page for you posted on our Facebook page, and we have some more tips about how to safely store and use those lithium batteries.